morning, good morning, good morning, Mission Beach. Um, thank you all for being here um, for a very, very special project um, and a very, very special woman. Um, it is a, a real pleasure for me to be here today. This is a, um, a project for me that's uh, very special. Uh, and I think it's very special for everybody who has taken some time today uh, to come out here this morning. Um, and so thank you all uh, for being here. You know, when I think about Mission Bay Park um, and how special this park is to all San Diegans and indeed to the entire region. And today we take a major step forward uh, in, in investing in this park for future generations, future families, uh, future kids. And as somebody who started his uh, career, if you will, as a volunteer for the city of San Diego when I was a volunteer on the Park and Rec Board and the Mission Bay Park Committee, it is just fantastic to uh, to be with all of you here today who care so uh, uh, so much about Mission Bay Park and what it means to San Diego. Um, last year, as I think you know, we unveiled a $40 million restoration plan for Mission Bay Park. And this is one of our region's most treasured regional assets. The plan, and funded in part by two voter-approved measures, includes upgrades for dozens of playgrounds, comfort stations, parking lots, and recreation facilities throughout Mission Bay. And today I'm proud to be joined by uh, so many Mission Beach neighbors um, and city team Andy Field, who's our Park and Recreation Director, Cordelia Mendoza, who is president of the Mission Beach Women's Club, uh, and a very special gentleman, Willie Gardner, the members of the Mission Bay Park Committee and community leaders. Uh, we're going to break ground on this project here in Bonita Cove. And I think, as many of you know, this is an iconic piece of property in iconic parkland. Um, this comfort station and playground have served residents of Mission Beach um, and the greater San Diego community for decades. And as I think you can see, um, they're in need of additional help and support. Uh, so we've contracted with Weir Construction for this $3.4 million upgrade that will include renovating this half acre playground, replacing the comfort station with a brand new one, constructing a new shade structure, upgrading the sidewalks to be ADA compliant, and installing uh, new security lighting throughout. Uh, these improvements, oh, you can over there, they're parked on that, that's good. <laughs> these improvements uh, really uh, had all done with design with community input and feedback uh, from the very beginning. It's gonna breathe new life into this, I said, iconic park um, that residents and visitors alike are gonna enjoy for decades. Um, this is just the latest example of how our parks, both big and small, are getting the intention and the investment that they deserve. Since 2016, we have opened 26 new parks across the city with more than two dozen others in various stages of design or construction. And we've also launched a very collaborative effort with the school district to build over 45 new joint use parks and facilities. Our beaches, our parks, our open spaces are where San Diegans come together and why people come to San Diego by the millions year after year. It's where our tax dollars should be invested. And so I thank everybody who's, uh, who's standing me, behind me who knows how important this park is. Uh, and as I said before, this park holds very special meaning because once it is finished, it will proudly showcase its new name in honor of longtime Mission Beach resident Maruta Gardner. As you know, we, uh, we lost Maruna tragically several years ago while she was doing what she loved in terms of helping to beautify our community of South Mission Beach. Um, and I say from firsthand, as somebody who had the real privilege and pleasure to work Mar with Maruta, her, her sense of energy, her optimism, her, her caring about this community and always wanting to do the right thing, she was a real beacon for involvement, for volunteerism, uh, and for giving back to our city. Uh, sh we miss her. We miss her every day. But her, her legacy lives on, and it, it will live on, uh, in this park, as I said, in this playground that has been redesigned with everybody's here who's help uh, and support. Um, there was no way we weren't going to do this while I was mayor, by the way. <laughs> and so that was my commitment. That was my uh, promise to this community. 
um, and it took everybody coming together. Um, I also want to say um, to all of, all of my friends and neighbors that are standing behind me here, uh, our park and rec team and our development services team and everybody, Public Works, they love working on new parks. This one holds special meaning to them. Um, this one holds special meaning to them. And so, as you can hear for so many of our staff that came out here today, um, they are looking forward to getting the shovel in the ground uh, and getting this uh, uh, up and running. So I think for some of you, the media that may not know, besides Maruta's uh, volunteer work, her passion, she was a former uh, principal at Mission Bay High School, um, a dedicated community member, and always stri striving to improve Mission Beach for every single year after year after year. Um, her, one of her most passionate endeavors was that she was working on securing funding uh, for this pri uh, park, trying to get private funding um, before she passed away. But as the development plans came forward, and as I mentioned, those, those voter approved ballot measures, um, we knew that we could get this accomplished earlier and do the right thing. Um, and now it is going to happen. So I want to thank all of the team from the Parks and Rec and Department of Public Works for their hard work and getting this restoration off the ground. I want to thank everybody here, the Mission Beach Town Council, uh, the Mission Beach Women's Club, uh, and all of our community neighbors and leaders who understand how special uh, this place is and how special uh, Maruta was. Um, and thank you for your continued advocacy um, for so many great projects uh, across our city. And Willie, my friend, thank you for all of your help and your continued support. I'm proud of this guy right here. Thank you. And thank you for everything that you're doing. I appreciate your hard work, my man. Thank you. Thank you. Um, uh, and now I'd like to uh, introduce uh, a couple of speakers. And first and foremost is our Park and Rec uh, Department Director, um, our new Park and Rec Director, full time now, Andy Field. Andy? Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Mission Bay Park, one of the crown jewels in America's finest park system. It's my pleasure to welcome you here to the park, and as you can see behind us, we have a fairly old park, one that is in need of some tender loving care, as it were, and we have something special planned here. For those of you who have seen the drawings and renderings, this new uh, playground here will feature a ropes course that will be based on the Old Dipper roller coaster located behind me at Belmont Park. So some of the adjacent areas and themes are going to be playing into this new play area that should be an attraction for San Diegans for generations to come. In addition to that, we are welcoming a safety measure to improve our restrooms. We're going to be moving to a unisex variety of installation where any of the stalls will be available to any gender. And with that, you'll be able to have an additional safety by having sinks outside and never again walk around the corner and see something that you don't want to see. So that will be a nice improvement for the area as well with new enhanced cleaner bathrooms. As the mayor stated, this is As the mayor stated, this is one of many improvements here in Mission Bay Park. We are looking to replace playgrounds across the park. There are several dozen of them all over the park. And this is one of about, uh, I think about seven or eight that we're replacing here. So very excited to see this be the kickoff, the very first one that will come to pass. And also the bathrooms will be replaced. We'll see many of the bathrooms, not just here at Bonita Cove, but also on the west shore of Mission Bay and heading up towards Sail Bay, also being replaced in that same style and, and manner as this one. It's an honor and a privilege to see so many people come out and support the parks. And in addition to uh, Ms. Gardner, who I never had the opportunity to meet, but I've heard so much about, including one thing, which is I should have worn my red tie. Apparently, <laughs> Maruta's favorite color is red, if you haven't noticed here. Um, but we are very excited to see this playground be named in her honor because the very first time I heard about Maruta Gardner was when she had called us and said, we want to make a change in Mission Bay. We want to make a change in Mission Beach. We want this to be a better park. And when she said those words, that is music to my ears because that tells me we've got someone who's ready to be dedicated to volu volunteering here in the park and also to make it a better place for everyone. And wouldn't you know it, sadly, although it's after her passing, we're finally there to break ground and make this into a playground that's deserving of her memory. So I'm really excited today to break ground and, and join all of our um, park advocates here from all over Mission Beach and Mission Bay to see this become a reality. So I hope to join you all 
in another year or so, right, James, to have this open up. So hopefully we'll be ready to go then and uh, have it just really even, even sooner than that, I think, next fall. Yeah. So, yeah, very soon to have this reopened and ready for the kids to play. So with that, I'll turn it back to the mayor and thank you all for your support today. Thank you. Yes, it will be open. Um, uh, now it's my pleasure to uh, introduce uh, Cordelia Mendoza, who is president of the Mission Beach Women's Club, friend of Maruta, um, and who was one of the uh, original folks as the driving effort behind uh, getting this investment in this playground and, and getting it up and going. Cordelia. Thank you. Well, Maruta, Maruta drove us all, believe me. And good morning. This is a happy, happy day. Um, it's with great pride and joy that I'm able to stand here this morning representing the Mission Beach Women's Club and taking part in this groundbreaking ceremony of the Maruta Gardner Playground. Renovating the Bonita Cove Playground was one of Maruta's last big passions. She was bound and determined to get all of us involved and to get the city on board. Well, she obvi obviously succeeded at it, so here we all are. Um, her dream was to have a playground at the beach where families could take their children to play in a safe environment. And here we are, less than five years after Maruta first proposed a concept to the Women's Club members to create a fundraising campaign for the playground renovation. That was in January 2015, she first proposed it. To be able to witness the groundbreaking of the playground today doesn't seem real because there were so many people who said it simply would never happen. But once again, here we all are. Thank you, Mayor Faulkner, Jeff Van Dierlen, I saw you earlier. And thank you to the City of San Diego for making this Benita Cove Playground project a priority on your long list of the Mission Bay Park improvements. However, that diversion of funds and the extension of streaming funds with Proposition C and Measure J, I don't totally understand it all, but however that worked, all I can, all I can say is thank you. Future generations will be able to enjoy this new playground for decades to come. For our women's club to have had a small part in it happening is an honor. People may not have known Maruta, but they'll all know her name and her energy will forever be present here. They will be Marutaized just like all of us have been. <laughs> Marutaized indeed. I like that. Uh, and now I'd like to introduce uh, Matt Gardner, who is the president of the Mission Beach Town Council, to say a few words. Thank you. <laughs> so we can tell by the crowd here how much Maruta Gardner meant to all of us here in the community, uh, how much our parks and our recreational centers mean to our community. Um, you just don't get turnouts like this, and it's wonderful to see everybody come out here. Maruta truly was a beloved member of our community. She truly cared. Like She had so much life, so much passion. Uh, and she carried that with her everywhere she went, and she was so contagious with it. Uh, a wonderful example for all of us to follow. And to see not just this park uh, carry her name, but her spirit in it as well, uh, means the world to us in, here in Mission Beach and Mission Bay. And it's just great to see that the city was uh, able to do this. <laughs> as we know, it's hard to get things done at the city sometimes. <laughs> but, uh, but we got there. <laughs> We got there, and, and we're very grateful for it. We're very grateful um, that there, there are so many people that recognize Maruta's character and her dedication and uh, the love that we have for our community, for our children especially. Uh, Maruta definitely cared for the uh, children first and foremost. And uh, as we sat here, I, I noticed there were a number of three-wheeled bicycles going around. I'm a bicycle guy myself, and I noticed that, and it reminded me of Maruta. I think it's so important to notice and remember that she rode around every single day in her three-wheeled bicycle cleaning up the graffiti in the area and, and bringing it to the police and getting really involved and making sure that uh, we were on top of these issues. And she uh, literally lived and died for her belief in the community and for cleaning up and for making this a better place. And even in her passing, nobody is able to stop her in continuing to do that. And we're happy that this area is a moniker for that. Thank you very much. Uh, very well said indeed. Um, thank you all again for coming out this morning. Uh, this is uh, a very excited, uh, very exciting uh, brown breaking. Uh, and all of us know that Maruta would have loved to have uh, been with us today. Uh, but she is here in spirit 
She is here in our hearts, uh, and her memory is going to continue uh, to live on in this playground for generations to come for San Diegans. It's quite a testament to her, and it's a testament to you all here in this uh, great community. So now what do you say? Let's turn some sand and get this project started. Yeah. Thank you. Come on, sir. All right. Count of three. Um, just one lightly. One, two, three. All right. Woo!